However, the budget passed by the Senate still falls short in a number of areas that are imperative to moving our state forward. That includes a $50 million cut to state employees, a group that has sacrificed significantly in recent budgets, and a cut that will dramatically hurt the services that the Senate claims to be investing in. A preliminary review of Senate Republicans' proposed cuts to employees indicates that 400 to 700 positions would be cut if the entire $50 million came out of that position line in the budget. This is after employees have already sacrificed greatly in recent years, with 1,100 positions having been cut since the beginning of 2010. An independent study concludes that Medicaid expansion funds will help thousands of individuals and families access health coverage, create an estimated 700 jobs, and save Granite Staters more than $92 million. And since the federal government covers 100% for only the first three years, by delaying even one year, New Hampshire would lose out on up to $340 million that we will never be able to recover. Those are federal tax dollars that the people of New Hampshire paid, that the people of New Hampshire deserve, and that our families and our economy need.